Hello everybody, I'm Derek Turbers. This is your Farming Simulator 15 Mod Spotlight. I know some of you are saying, Dare, Dare, <laughs> Dare, you've done milk processing, you've done beer processing, you've done a sugar beet cell point, you've done supermarkets, you've done fertilizer and seed production, processing and sale, vegetable kits. When does this stop? It's not over yet. The reason is, right now, Right now, as I'm recording this, tractor mods that are good are few and far between. There's a lot of bad John Deere's. There's a few bad Massey Ferguson's. And there's some old Russian equipment that actually looks okay, but I'm not really huge into the old Russian equipment. So, for me, what really extends Farm Sim 15, remember, Giants added in woodworking or logging well the whole idea of adding agribusiness to this game makes this game feel more alive to me something i could enjoy playing again so with that in mind let's roll because <laughs> we've got more people we got more all right so russ and holler did the original fruit and berries apples and vegetable growing that we did several episodes ago Shortly after I did that episode, he did an update. And that update added even more. It added a, another growing shed. This one grows kolab, kohlrabi. We, we, I haven't been able to translate that quite properly. I, we think it's like, uh, cu it's not cucumbers, but we, it might be cucumbers. If somebody knows what it is. Let me know. Uh, onions and carrots. This grows paprika. So again, really cool. Here's your cell point for all of those things. Okay. So that's the vegetables. Now you can put this side by side with the other vegetable growing that I did earlier. Okay. So $10,000 gets you uh, kohlrabi, onions and carrots. 7,000 gets you paprika. Another 5,000 gets you a sales stall, which we do need to buy. Like that, so we can look at it. Boop. Cool. Now, there's more fruits. Peaches. Yes! Millions of peaches. Peaches for me. Olives. Uh, grapes. And, of course, the required sale point for these very items. So, let's get that. We'll put it there. Cool. Okay, so that is what's been added here with the vegetable growing and the, uh, I call it vegetable growing part two and fruit trees part two. Uh, there's really more to it than that, but that's what we're going with. Then we have, if I can find a little guy. Aha, this thing. <laughs> Let's go over here. Whee. All right, what is this you ask? Well, uh, that's not going to work right there. It'll work here. Eh, mostly. Mostly work here. Yeah, let's put it right there. Boosh. All right, so this right here was a sugar beet cell point. This is a, is a potato cell point. So it did cost me $21,000 to buy that cell point. But if you're on a map that either didn't already have potato cell point or the cell point is really 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 far away for $21,000 you can have yourself a cell point all right let's check out our little board here uh, I ought to move this board somewhere else so we can do marmalade we can do fruit wine we can do beer we can do bread we can do sandwiches we can do flour we got milk we got apples pears strawberries plums cherries oranges peaches grapes Lettuce, uh, no we don't. Tomatoes, don't have chili. We have gherkins, calabri, which nobody knows what that is, or maybe you do. Carrots, onions, potatoes, which we already had. Paprika, olives. We don't have olive oil yet. We're going to have to figure out where that is. I'm sure that's coming if it's not already here by the time this goes. Uh, and then pigs, cows, calves, beef, lamb, and chicken. We don't have lamb. I'm sure the rest of those processing are going, but we've almost got this entire board filled up. Woo! -hoo! Let's go see what we got. Oop, uh, no, that works. That's fine. Somewhere is the not that tractor. Nope. 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 Actually, you know what? Let's stop here for a minute. 
<laughs> Sorry. Let's go check out the little cell points because they're little shell shell shacks. Shell shacks. All right, so there we go. Calabri. Just doesn't translate. I mean, the picture doesn't translate my brain very well. I don't think it's really paprika. I think it's peppers, but there's the cell point for those, and here's the cell point for our other fruits. All right, here we go. Now, got myself a line of front loaders here. And we're going to go harvesting, because these trees should have stuff on them. At least a little bit. Now, first up is the peach trees. Here are our peach trees here. So there we go. We're going to get millions of peaches. Oops. And we're also going to get stuck on the peach tree. So these peaches are... Let me hop out really quick. I mean, they're nice looking trees. 17% is 52 liters. It's a, it's a relatively low yield, which actually is correct. You don't get huge yield off of a peach tree. Um, but you get some. So these are the peach trees. Now let's look at our little basket here. Oh, yeah. Oh, that looks good right there. That looks good. Some Texas peaches right there. All right, let's go check out our grapes. All right, here's our little grape bushes. Stop before we get there. All right, so they have uh, 20 liters, 20%. So about 100 liters at full. Now, I'm going to presume that wine is going to be coming pretty soon here with uh, with this with these sets of mods. I mean, I, I couldn't imagine that wine is not a... Ooh, hello. It is not coming soon. Now, these are weird-looking... To me, weird-looking grape. Um, weird-looking grapes. Because I, I had a family friend that was, uh, he ran an orchard. Uh, not an orchard. Pfft, winery. <laughs> he ran a, he still runs a winery. What am I talking about? He still runs a, a winery. Uh, you don't really see them usually like this, but you could line them up nice and close to each other. And there's, there's our grapes. Sweet. Sweet. So that's grapes. Let's go check out our olive trees. So the peach and the grape are relatively small trees. Here are our olive trees. These are big trees. It actually does fit pretty well. All right, so 48% is, or 48 liters is 10%. Huh. So that, these can be pretty hefty in terms of the return on our tree. We can drive along here, collect a little bit, see what it looks like. Again, we're talking about the ability to sell eventually. Okay, that's a crash. Eventually upsell, meaning that we can take um, what is a simple object in terms of cost and really upgrade it. So we're talking, go in here, placeables. So 1,450 a tree, 1,300 a tree, and 850 a tree. And once you've started selling them or processing them in an upgraded way, you're gonna quickly see your, your return on investment of these trees, which is pretty cool. Now we can just run over and um, deliver these to the sell point. Now the store, the supermarket, has also been improved by Rosen Haller. You're going to want to make sure you get the new supermarket. You go to the link that I gave you. There's actually two links. You're going to want to get the latest link uh, that fixes some bugs and allows the sell, uh, sale of other items. So I would just say go to Mod Hoster and find Rosenhaler, his profile, and just click over to his mods and just grab all of his mods because they're all pretty darn awesome. All right, so here we're going to just deliver these olives. Unload. There we go. A little bit in the back there. All good. Nice. Yeah. All right, let's go check out 
the other the the greenhouses that's the word I'm looking for the greenhouses all right here we are at the greenhouses these are standard greenhouses does not require quell Vosser. when I approach it, it is going to say spring water uh, but standard water works I brought water over using one of the big uh, bulk tank trailer uh, so here is our peppers. Paprika is not actually what this would be, I don't think. I think it's standard peppers. So looks like we have bell peppers there. Uh, not a lot, 10%, but still a little bit. Over here we have our other. So we got carrots. We have onions. And we have whatever that is. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, but we still got the fertilizer on there. We could bring fertilizer over. It works much like the um, tomato and cucumbers. All right, let's uh, let's see if we can collect a little bit of this. How do I collect this? Under ah, probably right here. There we go. There we are. Got ourselves some peppers packed up beautifully, and we can go and deliver them. Not a lot of manure required in that small building. Quite a bit, about, it's 9,000 liters of manure and water in the large one, much less in the small one, uh, which would make sense, actually, quite a bit of sense. So there you got two greenhouses that you can grow whatever you like. Now remember, there's also the in-game greenhouses. Now those ones are not quite as intensive. You're gonna drop something off and then magically the fruits are going to be harvested and sold. Really no chance to do any upgrading of the fruits, but still, uh, you can really build a nice big uh, greenhouse and what have you farm, if you wish. Let's unload that. Cool. And then that will sell over time. There they are right there. Cool. All right, so then we had our potato sell point. All right, here is our potato truck. I feel like all these trucks are lined up all beautifully in here. <laughs> yeah, that took a trick. That took a trick and a half. But once I get them all pulled out and emptied, then I have to go fill them all up and put them all back. But hey, whatever, right? It's all good. All right, so we've got 50,000 liters of potatoes here. So we can go up to this potato cell point and drop them off. Uh, just so you know, there is an updated version of this of the uh, sugar beet cell point that gets rid of those those plants I had trouble with. So you probably want to grab that. Again, just go to the same site. All right, so here we go. We'll get the potatoes here and unload. And there we go. So simple as that. Again, it's just a standard cell point. But if you have potato, if you have a bunch of potatoes and you want to just be able to sell by, say you you take a field kind of off in a corner, you turn it into your potato field and your sugar beet field, or one potato and one sugar beet field, you could have these built out there, and then boom, you've got you've got a quick sell spot for your potatoes and your sugar beets. I'd get the upgraded one because it gets rid of these uh, plants that you can't actually walk, uh, can't drive through. So that was the potato cell point. We also had the vegetable growth part two. That added onions, carrots, peppers, and a plant we're not really sure about. I, I could do Google Translate. I just don't feel like it. Vegetable growth part, or I'm sorry, fruit growth part two. That was grapes, peaches, and olives. Yeah, that's what that added. <laughs> as well as the, the little cell points. Um, I'm waiting, I'm waiting for the uh, uh, release of the chip factory to make chips or, or as we call them over here, French fries or crisps or uh, to, to process potatoes even more because I think that would be, that would be an amazing thing. Uh, we could use the canola oil to create, you know, if there was an oil crusher to create the oil to fry the chips, you know, that kind of thing. Maybe it's coming. Maybe it's coming. We'll see. 
All right, I've been Dear Tebbers. This has been your latest agribusiness mod spotlight here in Farming Simulator 15. There's more coming. I promise we'll leave at one point to do something else, but I love this agribusiness stuff. Links are in the description as always. I hope you're enjoying the agribusiness. Until next time, remember, value added is the way to grow.